Walk into Billy Henderson's garage and you'll find some unique Australian soccer history. With a sparkle in his eye, Billy retraces the days when the game was at its youth. They certainly were, Mike. Uh, as you probably realise, the um, first time Australia had been involved in Olympic Games, and at the time we were rank amateurs, but we were very excited and proud to play for yeah, Australia. So in, uh... Billy's proud to think he was part of an elite group that pioneered the game in 1956. Australia's international experience back then was limited, and after doing reasonably well against select opposition in the months prior to the Olympics, team confidence appeared very high. The preparation for the Olympics was the, the squad was selected and we played every state uh, prior to going to Melbourne uh, and settling at the Olympic Village. And uh, I'm afraid, you know, while it was a good in theory, it didn't work out as, as tough uh, competition for us and didn't give us any sort of a yardstick to realise just how much we had to improve to be competitive. Soccer in Australia in 1956 was very different to what we're used to today. And although Billy was ranked number one choice keeper, he'd like to think he was way ahead of his time in the fashion stakes. And this was the goalkeeping shirt, as you say. Um, virtually, um, you could probably go down to the local supermarket and purchase that there. That was the, the shirt that we received at the, for the Olympics, you see. Certainly very heavy to what we're used to. Very today. heavy, yes. And uh, when we played against the Chinese, I was able to swap shirts with them and realise just how much better off they were because of the quality of the material they had and how light they were. And being a goalkeeper, we'd done up to the collie, it got very warm and having to stand there for long periods, the old mind tends to sort of, you know, wander. In 1956, Billy's career was rolling along nicely. But his dream of playing in Australia's biggest football tournament was shattered just days after marching in the opening ceremony. The return to form of rival Ron Lord meant Billy had to sit on the reserves bench. When I was selected in the original team, I was selected by the Australian selectors. But once the Olympic team was um, picked and we moved to Melbourne, uh, the teams were chosen by the team management, who were not the original Australian selectors. But uh, it's just, as I say, it's a matter of opinion as to uh, who they felt were the better on the day, who was in the better form. And as I say, had it have been that replacement situation, maybe I, I would have uh, had the opportunity of playing. Do you have any regrets at not playing? Oh, yes. It's uh, really it hurt me for many years after that, yes. Yeah. So Billy never got to play in the Olympics. His intention of pursuing an international career was also cut short due to political upheaval, which swept Australian soccer at the time. You know, those days the equipment was very, very basic. You provided all of your own gear. Uh, but I do envy the boys today. Uh, I know you can't get, turn the clock back, but if I could, I'd love to be out there playing today. Yes, the clock marches on.